morning. Firing the dryer back up. I ran it until about 11 last night. We're getting it started off. It's almost 8.30. I'm way behind. We did get a sprinkling of rain last night. It was just a little rain or water on the road and all of our dirt and stuff here is wet. I don't think it was much, but we're not going to run beans today. We're not going to wait on beans. We're going to go shell corn. Just trying to figure out where to go shell corn. We got the dryer running. Phil is hauling in a load of beans already. We had this partial truck and some in our overhead bin, so I'm gonna load it up fully. And uh, when he gets back, he can haul this load in. I'm gonna start getting uh, stuff ready. We're gonna go shell corn and we're gonna go shell irrigated corn today. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, that truck is loaded. Phil can take that when he gets back with the other one. I'm gonna go take the pickup over, get the header cart, drop the bean head in the field where we're at, bring the combine back here, fuel it up. Not that it needs fuel, but where we're going, we're gonna be there for a few days and we're gonna have to probably take fuel up there. So might as well go with the fuel full tank to start with. And uh, we'll get the corn head hooked up. It's gonna be a process. We're gonna be lucky to do 40 acres today. But we're going to get started on this irrigated corn and get stuff opened up. So I've got um, uh, NCGA corn growers contest entry up there, two of them actually. And um, the judge that I have to get to come and judge it for me said he could come out Monday or Tuesday. So my goal is to get enough done over the weekend here to get it opened up uh, for him to, or for us to be able to get to those contest entries on Monday morning. That would be good. There's about count the little field on the corner that's not irrigated but there's 13 acres there there's about 185 acres uh, up there that we've got to do and there's going to be a lot of bushels a lot a lot of bushels so it's uh it's going to take a lot of time to get this corn shell hopefully and our head dropped can you see the outline of where the combine was sitting last night the dry stubble versus the wet stubble our engine is still using just a little bit of oil I'm putting in a half a gallon every four or five days at this point, which seems like a lot to me on a fairly new engine. It is under warranty, something I should press them on or not a big deal. Okay, we got our fuel and our oil and check it out. Clean windows that you can see out of. Now we need a corn head. We're gonna go hook that up. Okay, finally. At 10.30, it's time to do something. You guys ready? Let's go. Start shelling some irrigated corn. It's gonna take a while yet, but we're gonna get, uh, we gotta get everything moved up there. So we're gonna start with the combine. There we go. Um, we're gonna get started with the combine. Then Phil's gonna come pick us up. Brock should be here sometime in this moving process. We gotta get three trucks up there. We gotta get the grain cart up there. Uh, gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna get them. So. Off we go with the combine. Let's get this stole, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go, here we go. We gotta open endros up. Uh, it's gonna take a while before we see really big numbers because a lot of these ends don't really get irrigated. So, uh, but yeah, this is gonna be fun. Just like I said, gonna take a minute to get everything going like we want it to. All right, made a round on the ends. Now I gotta go move stuff, so I'll shut her down and be back here. Decent. We're grinding it up. We're gonna have to make some adjustments, but it's not too dirty. So on the way up to the field, we've got this little bridge right here that is um, 10 ton weight limited. We can go across it empty, but we cannot bring trucks back across it full. So that means that we have to go all the way around the block uh, to get back. In addition to it being three and a half miles up here to this field, that makes these longer trips, uh, which. Phil was never going to be able to keep up with us, even if this field was right next to the bin site because of how much corn is going to be coming off of it, but that makes it even more of a challenge. So I'm bringing the second truck up here, Brock's bringing the cart, Phil's going to bring the third truck, and we're just, like I said, we're just going to go until we get everything filled up. Truck one, truck two, and right on time, a green cart. So we got to get unloaded because I'm full already. Um, let's get started. Now, before we get into this, 
I need you all to temper your expectations just a little bit. Let's not be disappointed up here, okay? Yes, we have a lot of stuff going for us. Yes, it is really good corn. It should be really good corn. It um, got extra water this summer. But we also have a few things working against us. Number one, we didn't put that much water on. At most, we put three inches, three inches on. A lot of the field even got less than that. Some of it only two. That's not that much over the whole course of a growing season. So should it help? Yes. Is it a hundred bushel increase? No, probably not. Okay. Uh, number two, we got tar spot in this field really bad. Yes, we sprayed it with a fungicide and that should have helped prevent that. Uh, and it did, but it still came in. Albeit late, it still came in. Um, so I don't know how much that is going to hurt us. And the other thing is we were showing some severe signs of nitrogen deficiency late in the growing season. And um, I put a lot of nitrogen on up here. We put nitrogen in our irrigation water, but we still shorted it. So I don't know how much that is going to cost us. That said, it's still really good corn. So I'm hoping we're going to see 250 across the field average. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, I'm really hoping to be pushing 300 in my corn growers yield contest entries. Again, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we're gonna find out. So let's get her opened up and we'll start seeing what the monitor says. All right, well, we got stuff opened up. We did endros. We're gonna make a pass right through the middle here, right next to our lane. Let's see what kind of numbers we come up with. 290s. Those are good. Those are really good. It's going to take a lot of those to get a 250 average, so 303, nice. Looks like we got a little optimization to do. <laughs> Losses are too high and we we're already driving slow, so we're going to play with the settings a little bit and bring that down. One pass right next to our first irrigation lane. I'm letting it total up. I'll show you what that one yielded. Seventy-five. That's good. I'll take that. And that includes leaving the head down to go across our center lane, which coincidentally is a very good spot to look and see if there's any losses. Stuff flying out the back of the combine because there's no residue from the corn stalks. But you can see all the kernels. Anyway, you can see that right there. We're going to be able to see that yellow or that pass with the center lane all the way across the field, but totally green on both sides from there. All right, we're going to leave Brock here. I think I can go down, turn around, and come back. We can dump back towards the trucks. Oh, yeah, she's going to be fun. Well, we're getting a little bit done here. Um, you can still see it's, it's basically all green, except for our center lane. But notice it doesn't go through there because the lane did not go all the way out to the road. So on that side, it's corn all the way through there. Numbers are still big, really big. Uh, what's our averages up to? 240 field average almost, 239, 38. So it's climbing rapidly. Every now and then I see it spike up over 300 there and boy is that fun. Uh, I'm trying to get over to these trees. My next irrigation lane is over there a ways and I gotta get these endros in front of the trees done in order to get to it. Uh, and I'm trying to keep a hole opened up in the middle so that we can always dump going back the other way towards the trucks, unloading on the go. And uh, each one of those lanes gives me a nice breakthrough point to do so, but I've got to get these endros opened up to do it. So that's why we're, we're working over this way instead of just doing on that side and going around that block over there. But we should get there. Well, we will get there. Question is whether we have the trucks to keep up to get us there. We've already got uh, a couple of trucks full and it's, or they, they fill up fast in this corn. Trees, I tell you, they're just a killer. Doing these endros, the average on these ends, 154. Which, I mean, for endros, isn't that horrible, but when the field average, when we started these endros, we were at 249 and a half. Just this little bit of endros has dropped at almost six bushel. That's That hurts, five bushel, I guess. So, yeah, it is what it is. We'll get off of them here in a second. Uh, we're gonna catch our trucks real fast. We might get we might get the cart empty one more time and then uh, fill it back up and then we'll have to go unload trucks. But we've got almost 20 acres done, 18 acres done. Uh, 
Yeah. Kurt's full. Fortunately, we got another empty truck, so he can go get that empty. We'll fill him back up one more time. And, um... We'll have to go on the trucks, because I think Phil just left, so... He won't be back for a little while. We got our ends in front of the woods done there so we can make our breakthrough here by this next, this is our second irrigation lane. And uh, it's still really good corn over here. Oh, it's so much fun, guys, so much fun. Um, what was I gonna tell? Oh, there's a sand ridge right across here, kind of this high ground on this side of our center lane, which is, is right in front of us here. And uh, this is typically the areas that's not as good. And then you drop off in the back here behind this lane and it's lower, heavier ground. And this is the good stretch of this field all the way across the back here, especially over there. Uh, it's not gonna show up on our map unless I change the scale, but that sand ridge runs right across here. In fact, let me see. Hang on a second. No, I'm not gonna work. That's just a small portion of last year's soybean yield map. I was trying to pull up past yield data on there so that we could see the, uh, that strip, but it's, it's right along here is the sandy stuff and then this area typically back in here can you see it come on focus this area back in here is typically the best area in this field and that's over there so we're getting into the really really good stuff i think the corn is better over here my round averages have gone up let's see current load the last load was 283 261 the 206 was when we were doing the ends yeah the corn is getting better that's good we want better corn i have to have a feeling we're gonna have a full grain cart when we're done here so we're gonna stop and unload trucks all right well we're 22 acres in our average is north of 250 ah uh, yes and it's only gonna get better well I should say it's only gonna get better for a while. Eventually it's gonna drop off, but for now, it's gonna keep getting better. Dumping trucks. They're dumping as fast as we can here. Dryer is still running, although it ran out of corn from yesterday. The wet bin got empty before we got some of today's corn in it, so it shut down for about 20 minutes is all. Uh, but that's good, it means it's em it was empty, and look, our bottom light is off. Uh, for those of you not familiar, I have these lights go all the way up there's a proximity sensor at each one of those and uh, when there's corn there it turns a little light on so we know how full our uh, wet bin is and right now it's about empty in fact if we bang on the side we're just below that sensor by the time we get these two trucks unloaded that light will be on I'm sure so uh, most important thing right now is that we keep the dryer moving they climbed up to give the dryer a quick check Make sure that uh, corn is still moving, which it is. Everything looks okay. It just makes you nervous, you know? Second truck is just finished dumping. Phil emptied our cart while we were gone with the third truck. Back to the field. Let's go shell another 20 acres. This stuff is just incredible. It's awesome. The average keeps climbing. This one here you can't really look at until we've, is that resets every time I shut the unloading auger off. So this one's the instant. That one changes a lot, but man, there's some big numbers getting thrown up there. We're climbing up that little sand ridge here. Uh, but you think it's time to change our scale. You can see our center lane right there, getting factored into everything because we're, we're combining right through it. Um, so right now the dark green is anything over 20. Let's change it. Alright, so we just changed our scale so you can see better. So now anything red is 220 or under. Red is 200 bushel corn. Are you, are you kidding me? Anything green is 280 plus. Oops, cancel. I'm trying to close that. So yeah, like the trees. And the end rows, no good, and our center lane, but everything else that's not red is really, really good corn. That's phenomenal, it's fantastic. And you can see how we're starting to get more green, right? There's more green in this here than there was up here. It's greener on this side than it is over here. It's 
getting better. Some of this corn is uh, quite tall. You can see some of it's way up here, but most of it, the, the, just the top part and the tassel has kind of broken down, broken off. And it's, it, the stalks are fine. It's standing really well. It's just the tops of it have broken and are laying across the rows there. But some of them are still standing and it's quite tall. Which I guess we knew that. I'm about to get some riders. This cab's gonna get real full real fast. That's okay. It'll be fun. Hi, Missy. First combine ride. It's a good time, huh? What do you think? Smile for everybody. I know you can. Gotta take it all in. All right. Um, we are just about. Well, we are to the to the trees, and we got to go and do back end rows uh, through the middle of the field, which should be interesting to see how good those are. But um, what did we get up to? 261 on our average yield, so that's really really good. The corn keeps getting better the farther we go. You can see we've got more and more of that dark green. Should drop off by the trees here just a little bit, and then we'll start picking back up. This next block here, between this uh, irrigation lane that that is right there and the next one is where I've got my uh, corn growers entry for this hybrid. So we can't harvest that today. We've got to skip around it, but you got to take some off the sites uh, anyway. So we're gonna we're gonna open up around it and then we're gonna jump over there and do the next block. Quite likely going to catch the trucks well before we get there. I'm just hoping we can get these back ends done without having to wait too much. We made it. So the uh, nice thing about these irrigation lanes that we've got, like right there on these ends, is that it allows us to dump on the go with only one path gone. Uh, with an eight-row corn head, we're uh, fairly narrow, and the auger is long enough to do the 40-foot the draper head. So. Um, we can't unload on the go without two pads. Unless you got an extra 10 foot from an irrigation lane, so we can we can do it here and make it work. And he is gonna be full. We're gonna top him off real good using our machine sink that I can control where he's at. Just keep bumping him forward, and we'll fill the back, and then we'll fill the front. And, uh, and then we'll have to wait for a truck, or he'll have to wait for a truck. We'll keep working on these back ends, trying to get stuff opened up, but we're gonna we're gonna get full here real fast. Uh, these back ends, they're not bad. They're down a little bit, but they're not bad. And this machine sink is really nice to control them and uh, fill it exactly how I want, because he can't see. Like, we, you can do a fairly decent job as the green card driver if you're paying attention and you know what you're doing, but you can't see like I can, so it's a lot easier for me to just bump them and, and put that corn exactly where we want it in the cart. Keep unloading until we get towards the end here, and then let him take it back up to the trucks, and uh, we'll be able to make at least another pass. All right, last pass of the end row. So this is our different variety over here. I think it's yielding any better. Think it's any drier? I don't know. I don't know. That's that 110 day that we had to plant super thick. That's planted at like 42,000. Standing really well. Like it looks good for that. So um, we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna jump into it here pretty quick because I've got to. I got to jump over past uh, that next block. Like I said, and we're gonna have to open some endros up on the front side. We're, we're making progress, right? We're making progress. That grain cart is moving. He had a long haul to go to, to get that last load empty and get back here. Fortunately, there was a truck up there, so we gotta we get we're gonna have, we're gonna fill the cart and then we're gonna have to go empty trucks again is what we're gonna have to do. But that's okay. That's about what we did before. We're 40 acres in now. We had 22 before, so yeah. Three braces or four. <laughs> <laughs> these uh, these pads where you break right through the middle are fun. Holy crap! Look at this, guys. Look at it. Whoa. Whoa, that is, yeah, that's fun. So right here is where we're gonna do our corn growers entry. 
Uh, we'll have to pick exactly the right spot there, but, but right there. And then the variety changes right at this lane that we're along right now. So the other block, we've got a couple of options. We can either do this next one or we can go down farther. We'll have to take a couple of strips and see what looks like it's gonna yield the best. But um, yeah, dang, this is fun. There's your 300s, sustained 300s, not just jumping up there for a second. Look at it. Whoa. All right, so we just made that pass right through the middle, right? Focus. That pass right there. Look at our average. 302, and that was, we stopped and unloaded on the far end, so we weren't harvesting. There was nothing flowing through the combine when we shut the unloading auger off, and we're stopped now. That's legitimately what that average, assuming our combine is close to accurate, which it can't be off by a lot. Although 2% at 300 is six bushels. So. All right. What? My riders are, it's time to go. It's time to go. Do you be baby. quiet. <laughs> Baby. Okay, bacon. Listen, listen, bacon baker. <laughs> Come on, time to go. Okay. It's just okay. He's almost done. Okay, old man, old you baby. Stop it. Hey, Brayson. What? Nice hat. Hi. Did you tell everybody that they can go and buy one at farmfocus.com? Where? Farmfocus.com. Where's farmfocus.com? Say www.farmfocus.com. Go to it. Buy a Border View Farms hat. Shipping. She went and ordered. For him. I heard. I said, oh, well, we should have. Nope. Mom, Grandma bought all the grandkids Waterview Farms t shirts from farmfocus.com. Promo code's over, though, so sorry. You missed it. Hopefully, you got yours coming. Bye, kids. Oh, you're okay. Bye, Miss Marie. Love you. We're dumping trucks. My other rider's going to come back to the field with us. Go into Green Shed, Ryland. Go in there while I pull the truck ahead. Um, he's been riding with Grandpa all afternoon, so. Well, that's 10 truckloads off of that field. We're dumping the 11th right now. 23, there was some 22 stuff to start at 21. There's 124, not bad, it's not bad. So the dryer has slowed down. We're only getting 640 bushel an hour out of it. It's, this corn's gonna dry a little slow, I guess, so. That's okay. Uh, test weights, decent at 54 and a half, most of them, a few 53s in there, but that's wet. It'll pick up probably two pounds coming through the dryer. It'll be over 56 by the time we're hauling it in, I'm sure. Yeah. There's Grandpa with the ripper, huh? Were you riding with him all day? Yeah. All right. Gonna, Sun's go going down. Yep, that's going to go in the corn dryer. Corn just pours in. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. You had John Deere on there now. Yep. So we got a little jumping around to do because we got to kind of leave some blocks for our corn growers entry and all of that fun stuff. And um, so we, we're going to, we're going to kind of open up the edges and then we may make some paths across next to our center lane to kind of square stuff up. We stop on this path. And we'll see how it's going to go. we got to do some more endros up on here along the road and that kind of stuff. Yep, we're going to go all the way to the end. Well, oh, we're going to stop where, where yes. that one is? Yes. All right, we are uh, back up here shelling, and um, that's where I want my corn growers entry to be. And I, I'm, So we need to take the center lane out of the equation, but we can shell off this stuff on this side. So we've got to kind of create some endros through the middle here. I don't like going right across the rows, but if you go slow, the corn head does a pretty decent job, as evident by the fact that it's still, you know, 300 bushel corn, right where we're just cutting right across it. So we're not losing it. Um, we'll just, just kind of go slow, it's a little rough. And we'll do one on this side, we'll do one on the other side of the path, and um, then we can shell this stuff off. How about that? Tennessee taking home a W, and and my Sparty's getting the OT win. Way to go. It's a good day in college football, even if the Buckeyes don't play today. So that was good. Do you say go, go Spartans? Go Spartans. That's right. This corn is enormous. There's a little dip right there. I'll try and film it next time I get through it. 
where the stalks are a little bit stronger and they're not broken out. Man, that stuff is tall. Uh, yeah, it's as tall as the combine. I mean, look at this stuff. That is enormous corn. All right, we've got another spot where we've got to break through the middle here. And um, we'll see how good this corn is. So we are in the other variety. We are in that 10D21, 110 day that's planted super, super thick, especially when we get back in this area. So we're gonna, we're gonna go all the way back here and uh, see what we got. The, the plants are not physically as impressive as the 12S, but it is still yielding. I mean, yeah, we're gonna take that, right? We'll see, we'll see. This variety seems to be just a touch more variable, more up and down. It could be where we're at too. We're, we're working along that sand ridge here and stuff. So uh, that, like I said, that ridge kind of works all the way across the front half of this field. That's why we're saving the back half because it's the better ground. Um, judging by the little bit of orange that we're seeing there, this variety doesn't look like it's quite as good. I'm not gonna sit here and say that just yet, but it's, um, yeah, it is what it is. Let's see. Go to the loads, look at the last few, uh, 261, 265, we were in the 270s, that 189 was Endros, so uh, maybe, maybe 10 bushel did less than the, than the 112 day, but we'll see. We got a lot to do yet, and a lot of this back in here may be really good corn, but we'll see. Um, that stuff's going to have to wait till Monday, because we got to get our uh, judge out here for the corn growers contest. Um, but we're going to keep working our way across to here, and we can do all of this in the back of that field. Yeah, so we got a lot to do. We've got, what do we got here? 57 acres done of 170, so we got a long ways to go. Um, we're getting trucks filled up here. I think, I don't know if that second truck is full yet or not, but uh, um, we'll basically fill stuff up here, and then we're probably going to take it back and empty it and call it a night. It is 8.30. All right, we are almost done, but we are breaking through another uh, irrigation lane here. Man, this corn is fun. Holy cow. No, we're going right through here. I'm debating whether I want this block that we've still got there or the one next to it for the 10D21. So um, kind of got to see how they're yielding and stuff and then work our way around it. Um, but yeah, our filter, or Brock is filling a truck right now. I don't think he'll have enough to get it quite full, but uh, with this round, we'll get it full. And it's nine o'clock almost, so I think we're gonna head home here pretty quick. Three inches of water. We did that with three inches of irrigation water. That is just unbelievable to me. Un unimaginable that we can raise corn like this. Three inches. We irrigated this three times this summer. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Is it worth it? Well, we'll decide that later, but it sure is fun shelling 300 bushel corn. Alright, well we're letting it empty out and we're going to shut her down here. Uh, that round, the last load, 293, 708 bushels. That's fantastic. Let's. We're gonna verify with Brock. Make sure that our uh, um, combine is relatively accurate. Were you empty when you came back there? No. Okay. Not helpful. Forty thousand. So he said he was empty, and when he stopped, he said he had forty thousand and like a hundred or something. That's what the combine thinks we had. So we're dang close, or just a hair low. Oh my. Oh my, that's good corn. All right, you ready to go home, bud? Yeah. We'll let Brock finish filling the truck. Shut the combine off. 
always put the header down at night because you're supposed to check the hydraulic oil with the header resting on the ground. So that's what we do. So we can check the hydraulic oil in the morning. And uh, yeah, what a deal, what a deal. 62 acres done, setting at 262 average right now. I mean, it's just phenomenal corn up here. And from the looks of our map Where's and the green there, it's it? only gonna get better here. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, I, that's exactly what we expect. Now, I will, hold on, Rylan. I will say that this point did not get irrigated and neither did this triangle. Um, some of this got it where we pulled it out, the gun, and it just shot out into there, but not a whole lot of that. So I expect those to drop our yield. Um, whether we can get it up to 265, 270 before we get into those and um, maintain that 260 average, I don't know. But 250 is looking pretty likely at the moment, and that was the goal. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. We're gonna do it again tomorrow. But we gotta go dry corn tonight for a while. We're uh we're gonna we're gonna get full of dry corn in a hurry. Got our pet lights. Check out my gauge lights. We're up to the orange. One more, but our wet bin is almost full. Rylan's being my little tester, doing it for us. Um our sample looks fantastic. Like, I was worried, there's a little cob, I was worried we were grinding stuff up a little bit too much, but this looks excellent. So. I just want to watch this. Okay, you watch that. Cool. See what it is. 20.9, 56 pound test weight, wet, that's really good. All right, well, we got the trucks empty. Phil went home, and we are drying corn. I'm gonna hang out here. Not that I really need to, but we're not gonna let it run all night yet. You don't need to do that. So you just come out here and check it every once in a while and make sure it's not on fire. But uh, thanks for watching today. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions and comments, leave them down below. We're gonna do it again tomorrow. We're, we're literally gonna do that again tomorrow and shell fantastic, super awesome corn. And then Monday, we're going to see if we can hit 300. Verified over a scale, average 300. Let's we'll see what happens. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Questions, comments, all that good stuff. Please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this. I, I haven't seen it yet, but pulling these kinds of yields, I'm going to develop a reputation on YouTube. And uh, this is not normal for us. Like, we're having an, an exceptional year. I just, I hope everybody realizes that. This is not normal. And it's a lot of fun. So, good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning. Well, we'll see you afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to church, and uh, we'll start around noon tomorrow. So, have a good night.